laughing loud, talking to my aunt. And then I saw the, the chat and said, can you please mute your line? Mute your phone. We're in here trying to listen to the word. And you out there laughing and joking. Speaking what word were they on? One, speaking, two, seven. Hey, look, speaking of laughing and joking during Holy Week, are we going to wait to talk about Paul Pierce or are we going to talk about him now? No, we're not going to talk about him. Let's wait. Let's wait. Right now, we you know the only like, the only thing that was wrong with what he did was it was Holy Week. <laughs> that's it. Other than that, is that it? That's it. We are live. That's it. We are. All right, we'll, welcome, we'll to, welcome to doing too much. This is the part of the show where normally we would play with the DJs, get the people what they want. We normally dun, play dun, that. Dun. We could sing it. We're not gonna sing it this week, though. Okay. I'm your host, your Eric Twigs. <laughs> I'm your host, Eric Twigs. I got a <laughs> cast of comedians surrounding me. We still gonna get the people what you want. That's right. You better believe it. But this time, we won't have Eddie Levert coming after us. That's that's the only difference. I won't be. My son won't be coming in my room saying, "Daddy, Eddie Levert's on line three. <laughs> Eddie, who happened this talk week? about rummy my money. Right. Hey, and you know, and you know, he's gonna be on the landline. <laughs> so probably the long one with the telephone cord from. The- <laughs> no, he's gonna be like you, a senior citizen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm on mute. He's gonna call you collect. I'm on mute. <laughs> one of y'all come over here and help me with this shit. Because you know they cuss, right? The old men, yeah, they, they cuss. Do. They do. They get frustrated and they cuss. Over you got here. one more time to play my song. <laughs> Joining me as always is Sister Soldier fighting the power. Woo! Fight the power, y'all. <laughs> fight the power. Also joining us is AK Free. Cheers. All right, you got a different cup this week, AK. Every week. <laughs> now, where's that one from? So this is from the Linganor Winery. You know, when you go to one of the festivals, they give out the, the glasses. So this was not stolen. All well, right. I have four of them. None of them were stolen. Right. None of them. Right. Also <laughs> joining us is F. William Samuel. Uh-oh. All right. What's going on, what was that? Hold on, do, that, do, that, do, that, do that one more. Do that one more time. Yes, that's like a dance move. Look at what Corona will do for you. Look at what Corona, and I'm not talking about. <laughs> the that's what I'm talking about. Hey, let me <laughs> let me just say I got my second Moderna shot today, and they told me to drink pretty fluids. And I think the staff would be proud that I finished a six pack of Corona. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're in trouble. That's going to be yet another study of of the effects of the. COVID shot. And let me just say, I feel fine. Good. Oh, man. All right. Uh-oh. Also okay. joining us is Ted Fells. What's happening, Ted? Good evening, all. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that 60 Minutes greeting? What is that? Good evening, all. Good evening. That was so you know, 60 Minutes. You know, I no, that looked like Alfred Hitchcock. You know, you know, it's funny. So a friend of mine was telling me about this. Some Asha Waganda. Oh, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to high school. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I thought I knew her too. She gave me, she said, Yeah, you know, just take, you know, she just take one and kind of mellows you out or whatever. So I, I went by the instructions and said, Take three a day. So I'm down to the, after the first one, I was like, ah. The second one, I'm pretty what chill. Is it? <laughs> yeah, what is Yeah, right. You calm you down? It has. What is it? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to kind of yeah. knock out a little bit. Senior yeah. citizen, put your glasses on. I got, I got cannabis in it. Got Go ahead. How you doing? So is that like Ashwag- a CBD kind of product? No, or is that a- no. Ashwagandha, uh, something, Ashwag- something Ashwag- herb, herb that helps the body manage stress. Herb. Yeah. yeah like natural like a natural and non-GMO <laughs> Indian ashwagandha. Uh-oh. Yeah. A.K.A. marijuana. Uh-uh. <laughs> but look, by the time we finish the show, he's gonna be like this. <laughs> I don't no, think I'm gonna need, like I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna need the third one. I think two. I might need one and a half. I probably don't need the three that they That's recommend. That's how he's gonna be. Right. Chilling. I'm chilling though. Wow. He's gonna be like the man in the barbershop. Just <laughs> <chilling>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey look, I bet they cheap in the edibles. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I would know how much edibles cost, but I do read a lot. So, right, right, are right. you talking about the edible? You talking about the edible arrangements, the fruit? There you go. No, there you go. No, Ted. No. You go. Not the fruit plant. Yeah. All right. Okay, I was on. I was on a Zoom with and with my uh, church committee the other day, and somebody oh, said, "Yeah, you know, we got to send some over there." So I'm gonna go send them an edible, and I was like, uh, "Brother Brian, when you say edible, exactly what do you mean?" <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know, the the, uh, the fruit arrangement. I was like, oh, okay, because and everybody on the call knew what I was talking. About. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Bless your heart. Hey, so, your heart. Also joining us is that Keto Dar Whittle. Kinda. Kinda Keto. So what? Right. <laughs> A frozen Kedar out in <laughs> about in the city of ATL. Looks like he is frozen. So we'll, we'll get to him when he unfreezes. <laughs> but for right now, we're going to get this party started with Don't Make No Kind of Sense. Mm, mm. So I'm going to come in on my own music. Chuck Brown. Okay. Don't give up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Police man is on these premises. <laughs> what are they doing in here? We do our own music, too. Yeah. So, yeah, just imagine <laughs> that. Run, Joe. So don't make no kind of sense. Uh, we made reservations uh, for Easter Sunday brunch for my family. Looking really, uh, we were looking forward to it. And we got to Unsaid Restaurant and they had three items on the brunch menu. Mm-hmm. Um, very disappointed. Totally it was a choice of um, three items. And uh, when they brought the food to the table, it was lukewarm. So since it was Easter Sunday, I, I didn't go sister on them. I just said, so we're not paying for this, correct? And no, we did not pay for that. But I was very, very upset because that didn't make any, no sense. Well, we, because, we start going to Olive Garden. Huh, nah, this was not even an Olive Garden. This one of them joints where they called us and said, are you coming? Because we want to make sure you're coming for your reservation. Mm. And it was for actually indoor dining. And they put us in the tent. So that was the first red flag. I didn't ask to be outside and the wind is blowing. I'm not sitting out here. We went in. Nobody's hardly in there. We're sitting by the kitchen, which means my food should not have been lukewarm. It should have been like piping hot from those three items that we ordered off of the menu. So that made no kind of sense. Now, the other thing. huh? What were the three items? Oh, French toast, eggs, Benedict, chicken and waffles. Mm. Right. Okay. Trying to, be, trying to be all fancy. You should have just went on the Denny's IHOP. You should have no. okay. just kept it moving. Eggs uh, Benedict. I already knew no. once they had eggs Benedict. You trying to be all fancy. We, <laughs> we should have just went for the Grand Slam. You are so right. And that bill would have been half as much, even though we didn't pay on that. That was no exactly. brunch menu. There was nothing lunch on there with the breakfast. <laughs> no, no. It, I was so done with that. So, other Ooh. thing, y'all. And I don't know what's happening in New Jersey and anywhere else. But summertime is coming and the cuckoos are out. Why are they doing donuts with their cars in the middle of the city, closing down all major streets so they can swing their cars around in the middle of the street and police are like delayed coming to break that up. Yeah. And then they're doing the crazy, uh, what is it, the ATV, ATVs on the highway, mm-hmm. shutting all the lanes down. Now that makes no kind of sense. Because let me tell you something. The ATV, that's what it says, off-road vehicle. That means you don't need to be on the highway. And furthermore, why are you shutting down stuff and then don't think nobody going to come after you? I'm, I'm just like, I don't understand. And we're not even in summertime, so that means it's going to be worse when the weather really gets hot. So that made no kind of sense, and I was quite upset, y'all. But a follow-up on one thing we talked about the other week, baby hair. I heard... There's now tattooed baby hair for women. <laughs> so um, just like our sister with the uh, Gorilla Glue, you can now have permanent baby hair in the front of your... Yeah, permanent. Yeah, yes, you can. You're going to be 87 years old with baby hair. <laughs> permanent baby hair. Hey, look, look. I, I, that's, I, old, baby. that's old, great. You, you old, baby. Baby, baby, look, look. Baby hair should not be great. Okay. Look, I watched But guess what? Hair. They tattooed it. Hair. It's probably not going to be gray. It's going to be black. 
<laughs> yeah, I washed my hair this weekend, and you know, I got some split ends. I just want you to know, I'm selling edges, ladies. <laughs> I'm bagging them up. You donating? Yeah, man, I'm selling edges. So I have that a made no kind of sense, week. y'all. I'll have a fly yeah. by next week. Oh, okay. God. Well, make sure you hook up with the people trying to get baby hair because, you know, they might buy some implants for baby hair. Mm. Might be a little rough around the edges. <laughs> but who knows? You know, you, know there's, you know, there's certain things that we have that are just our thing. Yeah. You, know, you ain't going to ever hear no white person talk about some baby hair. No. <laughs> not <laughs> white, not Latina. They, they make pomade <laughs> specifically but, uh, to flip that baby hair down. <laughs> I mean, what? No, no. You know what it's called? Edge control. They yeah. got products devoted to these black women. They yep. serious, man. Oh yeah, and they come um, in right, now. Timothy. You can't go I just want to shout out Timothy. He's right. He said the edges can be real sharp. Yeah, absolutely. You can't, you can't go in the white neighborhood and ask for a, a jar of edge control because they're not gonna know what you're talking about. No, no. Just like asking, can we get some precon gel? Remember that? What's that? No, I What's don't. That? Precon gel? Oh, that's before you. Okay, that's what you first put on your edges, but it was flaky. All so right. now you know you got edge control. Hey, look. Hey, look. I think hey. we underestimate how powerful edges are. I think we underestimate how powerful edges are. <laughs> tell us how powerful they are, Kida. Tell us. Tell like, us. Like, it, like, like, if I look at a young lady and I'm with my wife, she don't look at nothing else but to see if she got all her edges. Because if she does, my wife is like, oh, well, this one might have something on me. <laughs> <laughs> but keep, but keep, your, keep your eyes over right. here, boy. <laughs> a, woman, it, a, woman, a woman with all her edges, bro, man, she got the most confidence in the world. Forget a big booty or a big breast. A woman with all her edges? <laughs> so, yo, you get permission to look Y'all if the edges know. ain't there, right? You get permission to look. <laughs> She, I'm talking about body could be banging. Pow, 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 pow. If she ain't got no edges, my wife ain't worried about her. Go <laughs> <laughs> ahead and look. This is right there. <laughs> Go right ahead. Oh, Go right ahead. Right 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 That's the way it should be. Oh, man. So as you can see, Keto Widow is in the house. What's going on, Keto? <laughs> as he put us on mute. All right. right. <laughs> go. So what up though? He he got yeah, to get some up. Okay, okay. And here's the problem, right? Because you know, you talked about some of us being older. Kedar is the youngest. He be having issues with his technology. I mean, serious issues. <laughs> look look yeah. at this. What's he puts millennials to shame. What's, what's this sun kiss orange background he just put up? <laughs> Wait a minute. And now he gonna blow weed in our face? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Now he gonna get us all high. I don't know what you're talking about. We smoke. I don't know what you're talking. Uh, now we all gonna get it. I'm in Vegas. I'm in oh, Vegas. My internet might not be working. What? Oh, because internet doesn't work in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi in Vegas. There's so much other stuff working in Vegas. I bet. I bet it is. I bet oh, it is. We, we don't already talked about how many uh, babies DMX out there don't come up with no damn surprises out there in yeah. Vegas. Nah. We need to get you that's on mute. We need to get you on mute. We need to get Keto spaded and neutered. Just, uh, just so oh. we can get <laughs> wow, that hurts just hearing you say that. All, all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> Mm. Wow. We have missed you, Keto. We're glad Thank that you back. Oh, right. you, you know what that is? That's that. Okay. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Stuff. Exactly. That's that. Yeah. Exactly. It's like a jailhouse call. That's it. You only get that's, five minutes. Hey, <laughs> That, that's a technology karma, the ghost of Teddy Riley. <laughs> get your words in because that, that time is going to run out. Mm. All right, y'all. We're going to keep it moving. We're we going to talk about verses. Woo! Everybody's talking about Ron Isley and let me and get my Craig fan. And <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna throw it to AK Free. I, I know you got some uh, something you wanted to say on that. So let me just you know I said I was just gonna lace my helping you win with all the great topics we have tonight, but since we're starting with that, fellas, let me just help you out. <laughs> if you're not natural white beard like Teddy Ted here or even F William. 
Don't be going to your barber asking, hey, you got Beijing and white? No, we don't. <laughs> don't try to get no white out for you being here. Beijing and white? Don't don't go try getting a white paint, put mm-hmm. white bread sprinkles in there. White Just out. let her go ahead and keep swooning over Ron for but it'll die down soon. It'll die. Give it like another week. But if you ain't natural with it, don't go out there and, and try to make it white when it's not there because you're gonna hurt yourself and look real ridiculous. And then she really gonna be pissed off when she gotta get paint remover <laughs> to go ahead and, and take it out of your face. Just and it's not That'd just the nasty. beard. Be you nasty. gotta have the swag to go with the beard. Again, I give you exhibit one and two in the boxes beneath me. Word There's up. a certain swag you gotta Thank have you. when you're gonna you. rock a white beard. I mean, Thank F. William Ted, you know, I'm I'm here to help I'm you. Right here. T- uh-uh. There you go. Oh, uh-uh. If you don't have the swag, you gotta have a swag to go with the white beard. It's not just the white, white beard. beard. It's the swag with the white beard. So right. don't go out here trying to be wrong. Just be you. Just, mm-hmm. just if it ain't you, it, it ain't you. But give her another week. She'll be back. She'll be yeah. back. But I don't go out there <laughs> trying to Beijing it. And definitely don't go to this fool. Talk about, I can get you white. I can get you a white beard. I got Beijing a white. Don't go to that fool. Don't yeah. go to that fool. Don't fool just be him. who you are. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Look, I, I have to say that on, on the uh, verses, yo, they killed it. For cats who've been recording over 60 years, yes, they rock. And I'm glad they still get residual payments and, and they got dental plans and all that. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> Hey look, hey look that, that whole verses could have been sponsored by Polydent because I know those not their real teeth. Man. Right, those are you, implants. Those are not their real teeth. But I you know, you, look, look. I tell you this: you know everything is shortened when you that age and you on the recording, right? Yes. I was, you know, I took my mom to see the Whispers. They've been performing fifty years. They did all their songs, but they was all real short. It was like, <laughs> it was like they came out and they was like, when the beat goes on, thank you, good night. <laughs> it's a lot of this. Sing it, y'all Yo. sing it. Yo, it's yeah. a lot of they gotta catch their breath. They gotta Look, catch their breath. They right. I'm telling you, last year on a school train cruise, Ron Isley still looking good. He didn't have the white beard last year, though. Still looking good, but that fool was sitting down. I mean, That's we rocked right. out, yep. but he was sitting down. And he was, he probably, was using all, he was probably using up all the white towels, too. Because that's right. <laughs> Now Ernie was still standing. I don't know how Ernie with his gut. Now he was still standing and he was still walking around, but Ron. That senior, yeah. senior, senior citizen, he was sitting down. Mm-hmm. It's a they lot of this. wisdom. Like, mm-hmm. no, I, I ain't hurt myself. <laughs> I don't blame yeah, him. They get smart. They got smart. Mm-hmm. That's and he's right. like, and my wife is 40 something. I don't have to impress y'all right I'm like, here. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. Right. <laughs> Good. She would come over and help him up. It would be real smooth, too. But she was helping him up. I'm like, mm-hmm. I ain't mad at none of that. Look, that's called your help meet. What? Right. Help mate or help meet? Help meet. All right, help then. me as your mate. That's what it's right. called. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we Did have to shout out to our viewers. Our viewers are in the chats heavy. Are they? Thank I don't y'all. See anybody in the chat. Look, Look the wrong. Th- that Earth Wind and Fire, that versus had to have been a marathon because I was like, it was after 12 midnight. They had stopped it and it came back on. I was like, yeah. this is crazy. But they had to go to the stop. bathroom. I'm sure it, they had to go to the bathroom and rehydrate. Like, come yeah. on, y'all. Like, be real clear. Yeah. You gotta very, very, very clear. Mm-hmm. You got to give it up to, you got to give it up to whoever was editing. Cause, like you said, you know, every five minutes it was a bathroom break. We didn't absolutely. We we just saw a continuous show, and that's good editing. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know, it's high blood pressure medicine in that room. Absolutely, and absolutely. If you know what I know, you know what high blood pressure medicine gonna do. Absolutely, <laughs> diabetes medicine. Somebody needed oh, a okay. needle. Somebody needed a shot. Yeah, it was all kind of stuff happening. I'm, I'm just telling you, they had great editing since. Yeah. Since Timberland and Swiss Beat sold to Triller, and I'm a fan because I love the way the environment came through and the stream was real clear, and I love that yeah. they got a new platform, but they got major editing too, man. Because 
If you didn't know, you would think nobody went to the bathroom for four hours. You would yeah. think. And we know good and God darn we well that. that they did. They did Impossible. have a long wardrobe change. I was like, that's a I long one. They, you know how long? You t- First of all, they had to catch yeah. their breath. Yeah. Then they got to bend and take off their shoes and pay. Yeah, it was a long wardrobe change. Yeah, y'all got to let Keto in because Keto to be in and out so many times. It sounds like you got some boys in here. Takeda over here chatting in the t- <laughs> <laughs> he can't hey, get nothing in. So Keto, please, brother, what you what got? You got what you got? We got you. Why well, we got you? <laughs> we don't have him. Now this thing you said is in camp on his mute. Which one of you can't find his mute button? What the hell? He, I think he at grandma's house. Like you go <laughs> in and out to meet you just got It's the internet. It's the internet. The internet won't let me win. <laughs> Why? Because the internet is so different in Vegas. That's like the jail. It's like they're saying the jailhouse call kept dropping. Like, what is happening? <laughs> hey, so, so check this out. So uh, Roland Martin, uh, you uh, AK, you were talking about how you got to have swag to have your beard and all of that. Oh, really? So Roland Martin posts this picture of himself next to Ron Osley and saying, "Yeah, I'm. You know, I got. I'm, I'm rocking the gray beard." There was a hundred comments on his page of women just joking him. Yeah, why not? First of all, he's not rocking, he's more rolling. Let's start <laughs> there. Yo, it was a feeble attempt. He should have stayed away from it, man. He oh, should have stayed God. clearly away from he that. He don't even have a rolling. beard. He don't even have a beard. He got a right. beard barely connected. <laughs> Matter of fact, I could sell him some edges for his beard. <laughs> In the beer, it gotta I'm be saying, continuous. Man. It gotta be conti- again. Exhibit one and two down here below me. Yo, like he, it gotta be continuous. You should have just stayed away from that. <laughs> a, a face necklace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't be you have rolling, have swag. Like you can't be three hundred pounds with a splotchy beard talking minute, about. Wait a wait a I'm rocking. <laughs> I'm out. Time out. You could be 300 and be sexy and have grown man sad, swag, swag. I'm just saying. I'm not responding to you. I know you wasn't talking about me. I'm not responding to you. I'm just saying, just in general. I'm just saying, but his 350 pound butt, it ain't him. You got to wear it well. F when you you, you were standing standing up for the full figure brothers. Look. You know muscle is heavier than fat. You you know muscle is heavier than fat if you've been in the gym any length of time. That's the first thing they teach you. That's right. That's, That's beautiful. Right. However, yeah. comma, this fool right here putting himself in this Ron Osley is not going to work. And then his voice is like he swallowed a helium tank. Like he can't, he's going to have to come better. He's going to have to come better. Come on, Roland Martin. Can we, can we hear Keto now? Did he say Kedar. something? Hey, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. I connected to the hotel Wi Fi. I'm trying to connect to my metro. Go ahead and pay Wi-Fi. for it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. You have to connect to the hotel Wi Fi. Yeah, I got to connect to the hotel Wi Fi. <laughs> And the hotel Wi Fi is free, but we just program. <laughs> we just program. Yeah, we just program. I ain't even think that. Well, for what? I don't trust it. I don't trust it, and I think they're gonna charge you. So I don't even go to it. I, let me connect to my phone. I pay for. I pay for a hot spot. Let me utilize my hot spot. It ain't strong enough. What's up, man? I miss y'all. We miss you. Too. What's going on, Kita? Give us a what up, though. What up, though? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, I know if you in Vegas, it's probably like 120 degrees. Man, it's 125, but and they say they, they always say it's a dry heat, but so is the oven. Right? Yes. You can bake either one. Either one. You can bake. Speaking of baking, I'm baking. Uh, so it's been a great time. <laughs> it's been a great time so far. Wow, you escaped from Georgia. Why you leave Georgia? Well, my my wife, brave soul. Took all the kids to California on Monday by herself. Uh, and then yesterday, I worked and she flew to Vegas. And so we left the kids and I met her in Vegas yesterday. Oh, you're taking date night to a whole nother level. Y'all hear that? He helped with your yeah. women. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we out, here, we out here pool partying in right now. Uh, and then tonight, oh, I need to make dinner reservations. Nope. And then uh, we go back tomorrow. We go back tomorrow. I hope y'all, I hope y'all, I hope y'all got separate rooms. 
Because you already know. But I'll have to start from the way we move. Next year, he's going to be next to the world. We got baby number 10 coming. I'm going to catch up with Stevie Wonder. <laughs> no, I, tell you, I, watch, I watch. I watch the doctor snippet. I watch. Uh, the piece. He did that part too. Part. Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> like we not have. You know, it's a waiting period after they snip. <laughs> real, I'm serious. It's like ninety days. I know somebody who didn't wait in that window. Ended up with another child and a bill for the surgery. Oh man. Oh mm. man. You ever notice that when you freeze, like when the Wi-Fi, it's never on a cute like look, no. yeah. like it never catches you like this or like right. this or anything. It's Your always eyes, you like this. <laughs> right. You never freeze in a cute look. Yeah. It's always some kind of jacked up look when you freeze. It looks ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Was I looking awful? <laughs> you were looking real like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You would look a little crazy. But did you oh, hear us? Man. Did you hear S. William give you some um, waiting, incubating period advice so you don't knock her hey, up they, again? They, they say it's 90 days on that snip, bro. You got to wait. Uh-oh. Too oh, late. Right. Yeah, man. I know somebody who didn't wait, man. <laughs> Day 86. Nah. He was like, Aah! You didn't read the fine print? No, 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 no. Yeah, man. I, I, I did not get a snip. We know oh, you. Oh, okay. I know a brother who got snipped, and they were like, yeah, 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 I know where they have. <laughs> okay. Hey, right. hey, hey, sister soldier, I like your uh your pro. I like that color. Thank you. This is I got my COVID shot, and this is kind of like one of the oh, side effects. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my I got my second shot. Like I'm, I'm good and vaccinated. Yep. Good. And you sound real like yeah, because it's about to go down in Vegas. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Right, we don't gone going through the incubating period. We all vaccinated. We it's all about vaccinated. to go down. But you know what's you know what's interesting. My dad is kind of militant, and I'm not militant, but I understand. And I'm not a vaxxer. I don't believe in vaccines actually. But my parents, my sister, like cousins, wife, like we all vaccinated. Wow, all vaccinated. As you say, everybody. Everybody. And, I, and it's interesting. I didn't think my dad was going to do it. Right? My dad don't even eat farm-raised food because he don't trust it. <laughs> like, wow. That's how militant my dad is. <laughs> He's like, it's too close to plantation. It's too close yeah, to plantation. Man, not eating. Literally, yeah, when, said, literally what, we what was farm? looking for right. farm right. right. Exactly. Farm? We was looking for cribs, and my mom found this perfect house. But the name of the uh, subdivision was Rivers Edge Plantation. I know. Like I said, nah, nope. I'm the same that. way too. Yeah, man. Nothing with plantation that. in the name. I don't want no, no columns no, on the front of my house. We know. We know. We know. We know. That. But I am shocked that I know so many black people that got the vaccine. Like I am shocked about yeah. that. Because a lot of black but, people died. A lot yeah. of black people got, of, died and hey, got really Aaron. sick. Yeah. Look, no, 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 a lot, no, a lot of a lot of black people want to go out. That's yeah. The, that's what that's that is. A lot of black people want to go home. Exactly. While, while, I was, while I was getting my shot today, the nurse was handling a patient that got his shot on March 22nd. It was in the hospital April 15th. Wow. So it ain't it ain't no silver bullet, y'all. It's yeah. not. Straight up. Y'all let us know how homecoming is, F. William. Oh, I will. I, I'm booked already. I'll be there. Only because I got a film project I'm working on, but I'll be there. And I'll let Whatever. You know, so, so is it official? Uh, Hampton, Hampton will be official probably on Friday, but I got good sources. You can bet your money on it. I'm Are they going to make you have a card? Some of the schools are talking about you, you got to you know, show. You know what I think they're going to do? I think we're going to have a football game with no tailgates. Ah. I think they're gonna shut down the tailgate and the bazaar. You know, uh, if you want to come in and watch the game, you know, they're gonna take your temperature, but I don't think they're gonna let you tailgate. Okay. No, no bazaar? 
Man, yeah. need to go on the homecoming here no bazaar. Look, you just gonna be walking around with eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> if, ain't no, if ain't no tailgate, man, ain't nobody going down there. You know, you know, black folks no like to tailgate. We love to walk around and eat. I mean, yeah. Okay, Keto, really? Yeah, really? We gotta get that. We gotta get that view. This guy here. <laughs> he is on effort mode right now. He, he like, didn't hurt and get back to jail. Nobody got the kids. We both been vaccinated. We what in some, Vegas. He's on effort mode right what now. Some, he has some tight Hawaiian shorts. <laughs> Y'all already know. Showing all ties. Wearing them thongs. Flip flops. Flip flops with the thong around the shoulder. <laughs> With those biker shorts underneath. <laughs> Man. You already know. We, we got a glory you, know, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to man law real quick, man. <laughs> Can't have no I mean, biker shorts on. Are those your legs, Keita? Next time you come to me, Keita, this is all I'm going to do. Next time you come to me, this is it. All right. Hey, we, have, you know, we have some new people joining us. I want to shout out uh, K Boogie. He's one of our DJs. He's on here as Christopher Kenner. Um, but he's hey, DJ K Boogie to us on Martini Monday and Freestyle Friday. Join us for the first time. Hey Boogie, thank you for coming. We in double digits right now. Thank y'all. He, he could plug up the equipment. I mean, you know. Well, well, we got we got DJ Seven on here too. I thought no DJs was available. Maybe Wody just said yeah, work. Wanted- he couldn't do it. He didn't want nobody else to do it because right. he had two DJs. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the set. Nobody. They, they, they all. They all. They not, that's why they're not available. That's why they're not because they all in the chat. <laughs> they all in the chat. Everybody in the chat. Right. They're not available. He's available. He's probably listening, but he's not in the chat because he, 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 he don't want to be called out. Look, I see Kid Capri in there. I see Cinderella up in there. Like all these DJs up in here. And we couldn't get any Biz. of them. Here come Biz Marky. Here come Biz. Biz up in there. Biz, 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 Biz. <laughs> and we couldn't get a DJ? We couldn't get not one. Tina Bell's probably watching, but he won't chat because he don't want to be called out. <laughs> Too late. Too late. Too late. That's funny. Oh, uh, this is the this is the time we need to transition into doing too much. There's a lot of doing too much going on right now. Our DJs are doing too much. I mean, we're getting groin shots from people. We just doing too much. Let me throw let me throw a doing too much in there. See, I, just because you're on vacation does not mean we want to see your feet in social media. <laughs> Oh, that's the foot poles is the vacation poles. Everybody, but everybody's feet are not Photo social ready? media feet. They are. Hey, how, how about this? how about this? The toes be looking all like this. They got their toes out. Hey, look, I can't post my vacation pictures till the week after I get back because they will be up in my house. <laughs> Yo, I ain't posting no vacation pictures while I'm on vacation. Actually, nah, nah, nah. They'd be like, oh, uh, I home. Do you have a ring on your crib, though? You yeah, I got a ring now. I got a ring now after they stole my car out my driveway. Yeah, but no, nah, I post that's my pictures rough. a week after I get home. It's rough that's rough for you, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's hey. called living in the hood. You know better. I mean, you know, I, I live hood adjacent. I don't live in the hood, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, oh, hey, I'm not adjacent. take a bus. See? I got the hood on suite. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah you, you, know? you the neighborhood. You the neighborhood they steal from. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, look, if somebody close, come enough, my, close enough where they if, can walk, yo, walk if, if somebody walking on my block, bus. look, if they on my block walking and they don't have a dog on a leash or a mailbag, <laughs> I'm calling the police. Because there's no reason for you to be walking down this street. Everybody on this street got a car. There's no bus stop on your yo, street? No, 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 bus, no bus, no bus. So I don't need you to be walking down the street without a dog or a mailbag. Call let me ask you that. Let me, let me ask you that. Do you report to a uh, next door neighbor when you see stuff? I don't, man. I get. I, I see do. that on the ring. It's a lot of that neighborhood stuff, man. And I'm actually yeah, surprised. I'm yeah, surprised how much stuff is on it, but I, I don't have time to report. Yeah, I do. But since the soldier reports. Yeah. 
Like what's Hello. The, what, like what's the last thing you reported? Oh, when um somebody was walking down the street with a microwave in the house that <laughs> went under foreclosure. <laughs> That was a good report. Yeah, <laughs> like, some yet. ain't right. Some ain't right with that. It it ain't ain't they they should have been going to a barbecue with the microwave. Right. Right. They were getting you in know, the Uber. You know black people want you to bring something. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> that was all wrong. All wrong. Black people say, uh -huh. look, look, <laughs> what time is the cookout and what you want me to bring? I know right, you want right. me to bring something. Not the microwave. Mm, 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 hey, but let me mm. let me tell you about you can't tell to bring some, some people you have to be very specific though and you have to tell them you bring napkins yeah you bring cups you bring ice don't bring that water nothing that you salad. have to cook right <laughs> bring a fruit platter go on over to you know whatever your groceries some people you have to be very specific you, with you, gotta, you just got to know your friends right you because do, and your family certain people you say everybody brings something you're gonna have a table full of brown liquor that's it. You're gonna have That's no it. plates. You're gonna have no dude. chicken. You're gonna have ribs, barbecue sauce, and Hennessy and E and J and spice rum because that's what I'll bring probably. Spice rum. Hey, hey, real quick, I, I gotta say this. So, like, the rule should be you have to drink whatever you bring. Yeah. Right. So if you bring Old Milwaukee's best, don't be sipping on the Heinekens. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. What don't go that? for the Coronas. Right. Don't go to the right? You bought the old Milwaukee dress. You should be sipping on old Milwaukee dress. Right. People bring cheap stuff and then they want to drink right. your good stuff. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, I agree. Right. Yeah, speaking, don't bring Smirnoff, hey, look, but then hey, you want to drink all the Belvedere. Look, don't look, do that. Speak, speaking of drinking cheap stuff, um, doing too much, Paul Pierce. Can I get uh, an amen? Ciao. Let me say, ciao. first I want to ask you if you watched the whole video. No. I watched the whole video. Of course, what I got to tell you is, I really don't see anything wrong with what he did, with of the exception that he did it all during Holy Week. <laughs> he, waited it. Till, he waited till the day before Resurrection Sunday to get in a room and have a celebrity poker game with strippers and weed and talk shit to people about Shabbat. He is actually trying to get an invitation from the Jewish community to go to Shabbat because he said he didn't grow up like that. He's doing too much, man. You're doing too much. Do that in a normal week, not Holy Week. Not Holy I have Week. No words. So it's really not that week. it was Holy Week and not the fact that he just put it on Instagram. That's your that's your thing. Well, well, that too. But the fact that it was Holy Week is what got people upset. Oh, DJ said he works for Disney. He should knew better. Yeah, DJ said he works for Disney. <laughs> You can't mess with the people like that on Good Friday. I mean, you know, Good Friday, um, you know, Saturday, Resurrection Sunday. That's where you went wrong, man. That's it was why a good it's good Friday into a good Sunday. Oh, it was a good uh, Saturday. Lori said, not for nothing, everything seems like a good idea when you're drunk. True. <laughs> Facts. It was Facts. all adult behavior. He was getting neck massages from adult friends who were scantily clad in his house while he played poker. What's wrong with that? I don't think there's don't anything wrong it. with that. I think you should have just kept it to yourself. First of all, he is a senior citizen. Right, so you right? should know better. You should know what not to put on social media. He probably and know still that trying to figure out method. how to work his cell phone. Uh, <laughs> he didn't know how to work his cell phone. He's probably still trying to figure out how to work his cell phone. He's like, what does this button say live? What does this mean? Post no, listen, one of his grandkids showed him how to post on IG, yeah, and then he, he like, went crazy. And like, then yo, he went this, crazy. This, this mean I'm live. Yeah, I'm, I am live. I am alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm live. I just push this button. <laughs> you can't make you can't make mistakes like that when you've been out of the league for 10 years. So you when you're in the league, I hope you, I hope still, you, got, got, you still got nice contracts with a lot of money. I yeah. hope you still got some little side gigs when you out the lead. That's yeah, right. Let me let me tell you, um, doing too much, um, black people in general. I really want to get out of the pandemic because black folks, we at the point now where we put a limit on everything. If you notice, right? There was a time when if you was with somebody and you sneeze, what the black person gonna say? God bless, bless you. you. No matter how many times you sneeze, they're going to say, God bless you. They might even make a little game out of it. they waiting for you to sneeze. They'll be like, ha, ah, God bless you. Ah, God bless you. Right? Now, mm -hmm. you give an open mouth cough once, and they're looking at you like. Right. Right. It's and true. when you cough twice, what do they say? You got one more time. Right. Time. The open mouth cough me like that again, and we're going to have a problem. <laughs> 
It's threatening. It's pandemic. just like back when, remember when, when AIDS and HIV was just emerging and we weren't sure and everybody started looking, you sure they lose a lot of weight. You think they got the HIV? Yep. You think they got the HIV? Right? Yeah, and okay. then we'll shorten the name, right? Like we're going to call mm-hmm. it the VID mm-hmm. or the HIV. First, first we thought whatever. they were on crack, but then if they wasn't on crack or they wasn't selling VCR, then we like, maybe he intravenous needles or something like that. You know, we go to the next one. But I'm just telling you, I want to get out of the pandemic because black people got too many limits. I shouldn't yeah. have to worry about how many times I cough. But right yep. now, if you cough more than once, you're going to have a confrontation. That's yep. just getting a side eye. Yep. You're going to cough on this screen and we're going to exit you. So DJ it's said, he said Paul Pierce is 40, 43 years old. Mm-hmm. That food looks 55. He don't look no 43. Life has been real hard these no, years. When, right. you, you know, when you smoking and drinking like that, you know, it's age. Different. Yeah. He, doesn't look like, he looks old. So I guess his wife doesn't have an Instagram account. Is that? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's going to be a tough like, one to explain. You, if you, that's going to be a tough one to explain if you marry. shouldn't be like this. Right. <laughs> Is that the face you're going to do? <laughs> And we like we what all know what that look means, right? Mm-hmm. What was that about? <laughs> right. You know, you go give them the uh, the Kamala Harris smile when they ask a question and they already know the answer and they just smile and wait to see what you come up with. So what were you doing last night? And they like I'm like, why are you so pleased with <laughs> what I'm about to say? You like, why are you so happy? Right. Because mm-hmm. I'm about to go as, in. As a dude, you, you gotta pretend like you didn't hear the question to buy yourself time to think. And then you can hear what you be like, huh? What? Mm-hmm. Oh, you can hear. You can hear. It means that you're thinking about. This. If you can hear, you can hear. That's what you're going to hit back with. If you can hear, you can hear. You heard what I said. <laughs> I didn't stutter. Right. If you can hear, you can hear. They know all the tricks, man. Yep. Uh, and then she's going to hit it with. Remember what this prenup said? <laughs> <laughs> you trying it? You really gonna try it? Oh, that's crazy. So, so Ted, Ted and I were talking earlier, and he's got friends. All of a sudden, they done started eating right, and then it got a little different. Let's talk about that, Ted. Yeah, let me tell you if you have if you have a friend that starts doing anything different. They want to know why you not. <laughs> right. It's so they, they, they start with you eating. And you eating that? Right. Yeah. You, you eat. Man, you you eat, you still eating pork? Right. Uh-huh. That's you eating all that beef? That's the only reason I'm trying to lose weight. I want to be a snob, a food snob. Yeah. I want to be like, man, you eating wanna, them chips? I want to be like, you still go to McDonald's? Right. You right. don't want to eat that as an oh. adult, you still go to yeah. McDonald's. You still eat fast food. Yeah, do right. You you're not a vegan yet. Like, right. for real, you're not a vegan yet. That's you it. know what's all in your body. And then they get preachy. You know, the preser- I'm like, you couldn't spell preservatives like right. a month ago. Right. <laughs> like, you couldn't even spell preservatives like a month ago. And now you hit me with additives right. and preservatives. Mm-hmm. Use it in a complete sentence. Right. Yeah. You're you eat, you eating GMOs. Yeah. Yeah, don't eat that. Yeah. I'm gluten free. I'm 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 going gluten free, you know. And then they want to tell you what to buy. You need black seed oil. You need black seed oil. You need this kind of oil. You need quinoa. You need seed. And you like, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm, I'm getting all that. I'm struggling. I'm 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 struggling. I'm I'm trying to be uh, just meatless Monday, just one day a week, man. I'd be struggling. Like by three o'clock in the afternoon, I'd be struggling. Because yeah. all that plant based, this tastes like whatever. That's the thing. It doesn't. The plant based is too much. And the soy products that taste better got estrogen in them. Right. Absolutely. So you're gonna be looking all feminine. No, and you don't need boobs. You're trying to lose weight. You don't need you don't need these. Uh, hey, look, uh, I, I have a confession to make uh-huh. about men, about men in health, going to the doctor. I, I went to the doctor the other day, and um, you ever go, fellas, to get an EKG? You know when they put they put the uh the alcohol rub on you and then they put the nodes on you so they can clip it to the machine. I don't like where this is going. Let me yeah. tell you this. Let me tell you this, fellas. You know you are on the wrong track because they could put the nodes on in the alcohol with one hand, right? They put one on each leg, then they put one below the rib cage. If she come with two hands to lift up your man, your, your <laughs> 
you know you're on the wrong track. When she did that, <laughs> look, look, when she did that, I stood up and I was like, now nah, look, <laughs> you're going to stop playing. You use one hand the whole time. Now all of a sudden you need two. For your boobies? <laughs> this is to move Yo. your boob? Yo, you got to put the boob because they want it right under the titty. They do. You know they what I'm do. saying? Because they got to get the good reading. I can't tell if Kedar is frozen or not because normally he's like frozen. laughing. He's frozen. He's frozen. Yeah, he's frozen. He's frozen. Yeah, man boobs are not there, you know. Look, I'm working on it, but I'm just saying because they already have you laying down. And then they sat me up at 45 degree angle. I thought they was trying to be funny. And she had one hand the whole time. She did the leg. She did the rib cage. She did the abdomen. And then here she come with two hands. Yes. <laughs> so caution, F. Williams, as you're losing all this weight and you become a food snob, your man boobs are going to droop. They're not going to go away, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. They're going to droop. I'm going to get them. I'm going to build them up. So then they'll have to roll them up to get the <laughs> electro up there. <laughs> Yo, I was like, this is not, you You wrong for that. You yeah. use one hand the whole time. Now you're going to use two? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, food snobs are crazy. And then here's what I love also. So, because I have <laughs> some friends who like are all vegan or whatever, and they're like, everyone should be vegan. And I'm like, you do know the earth doesn't produce enough vegetables for everyone to yeah. be vegan, right? Like mm. the earth doesn't produce, like some of us still have to eat meat because they can't grow. And they're like, but it's all organic. Do you know that they have to mass produce vegetables because all y'all want to be vegan now? Yeah, but like, they don't think that I'm like the earth doesn't produce that. First uh -uh. of all, they build in half the land, so well, there won't be that, any land left. Ain't that and much I'm chicken like, really? either? Ain't that much chicken to go around either? So how everybody eats fish, hence tilapia. So I'm like, don't be so snobbish to think that you're not putting something that doesn't have some kind of man-made something in it, right? Right. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, but yeah. I get with it. I'm like, yeah, you do you, I do me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go to the hood to get the best wings available. <laughs> well, well, I'm, well, I'm going to tell you, if, if they're not, if, I'm telling you, if you're not eating any meat, you're hungry all the time. I'm yeah. telling you. Like, when we try this Daniel fast, let me tell you something. Yeah. I was eating yeah. every fruit, every vegetable. I was okay. all nut, I mean, beans, I mean, just whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you, yeah. you are always hungry. And I was and eating that unleavened bread too. Especially if you gave up the star. Yeah, toaster. Yeah. You you, you know you what got me on the Daniel fast? It was the sauces. Cause you know, you can't eat anything with sugars. You can't eat anything. I you can't have so having to season people are like just squeeze lemon on your salad. No, I don't want to taste they earth. Say, like they, earth is not a taste that no, I like. Say. And no. so the Daniel fast was say. a struggle because you realize all the the, the the things you can't catch ups and mustards and salad dressings and things like that that mm. you use to kind of season up your food you couldn't have it I'm like I'm I'm just gonna have to eat cooked vegetables because I'm not just sprinkling squeezing right. lemon juice on on my on my spinach it's yucky like no I, I don't like the earthy taste I don't that I don't mean no acid. taste like dirt hey I got I got uh oh I'm the one thing I noticed, uh, our church was, one thing I was doing, I noticed our, our church was doing this fast and I had a, a church meeting and I could tell that everybody wasn't doing the fast. <laughs> Cause I was the only one on the video eating grapefruit, oranges, <laughs> peanuts, sunflower seeds. And I was like, are y'all doing the fast? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought oh, this was no, the whole, whole, week, whole, the whole <laughs> church. I thought y'all was doing the fans. It's over. <laughs> they lie. They lie if not. Nobody said they wasn't. Nobody said they were. But I was like, I ain't. Get you I over here with your sunflower seeds. seeds like this. I'm eating sunflower <laughs> seeds. I'm eating almonds. And y'all jokers been sitting here the whole time. I said y'all been eating meat. I can, yeah. I, I can see it in your skin. Y'all jokers been you eating meat. Gristle. You been eating meat. You been eating some sugar. <laughs> You've been eating some good stuff. You have Yo, not been I just doing best. When there's no sugar, no salt, barbecue what? sauce. That's what you need. Amino what? acids. No That's sugar, no cook. salt, barbecue sauce. What is? Yeah, no what? sugar, no salt, barbecue sauce. You I mean, where do you get such a thing from? Oh, the internet. You know, internet got everything. But uh, Walmart. Yeah, put y'all up on that, no doubt. No sugar, no salt, mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. Yeah. That just sounds like vinegar to me. 
Well, it's vinegar and tomatoes, but you know, they, they spice it up. It's, 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 it works. It works. I don't Get know if the, I trust uh, you because you've been posting meatless Mondays with some foolishness, <laughs> and I don't know if I trust you, F. William. <laughs> you know, I had some scallion sausage, and you know, I tried it because I'm, I'm so, I'm so desirous of an alternative, and I, I couldn't even finish one. Yeah. Mm. I couldn't that even don't even finish. sound attractive. Like it uh -uh. just. Scallion sausage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. It don't sound attractive at all. Yeah, like, did you get that from the dollar store? That's what it sounds like that came uh, from. Like, I got it from a high end <laughs> store. Now, I haven't given up. I don't know how Burger King making money with the Impossible Whopper. I don't know. Somebody must like that thing. Does it, does uh -uh. it take better when it got all the stuff on it to cover up the taste? Uh -uh. I don't know. I won't try it. First of all, six dollars all by itself. Is that's not the is meal? It? It's just for the burger. That's number one. Know, number two, it food. has just as uh -uh. many uh -uh. calories as the regular whopper. Adult. So what's the point? Yeah, I wouldn't nah. know how fast food as an adult. <laughs> Whatever, Ninja. He it's, see, he's right, he being a snob before he I'm even get there. Get I'm, I'm Remember a couple it's, minutes ago, he was like, I can't is, wait to get a Krispy Kreme donut. He's practicing. He's no practicing. practicing. Yes, sir. Yeah. I can't wait to get a Krispy Kreme donut. Now, yeah. all of a sudden, he, he don't know about fast food. I don't go fast food. Whatever. Krispy Kreme. There, 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 there are a lot of big vegans out there, though. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm vegan. You vegan, man. You better go ahead and get you some, some ribs. You talking about you right. vegan. Right. You, you that fat just eating vegans vegetables? don't they eat make... that impossible stuff. Like true vegans, they like yeah, we're they... not eating that impossible stuff. They, they don't do even mess with that. Yeah. They like we don't know what's in that. Yeah. Right. But fake vegans, they're like, Yeah, I had an impossible burger. Yeah. And I'm gonna... Let me tell you, it's not worth it, man. I saw a box the other day. It said it said plant-based hot wings. Now, you know. <laughs> I, I told you this is my thing. This is the hardest thing. I'm gonna have to be in counseling if I ever give up. Wait. But you know, the box they had me on the marketing because I do like hot wings and they plant based. So I'm like, yep. damn, let me try them. He had a plant based, had a plant based bone. And how did it go, babe? How did it, it go? Was so disgusting, man. Yeah, and that stuff is expensive too. You waste a little bit. I yeah. just be throwing money down the drain, yeah. man. And I can't no, even man. get nobody to take it from me, you know? No. Mm -mm. I Don't nobody want like, that foolishness. Like, now, we'll yeah, say I, Boca products, like Boca, uh, Boca yeah. burgers. Now, those are, those are bean those based. Are and spiked those are good. Yeah. Bean, no doubt. Even Them beans, like, man. Morning Star Farms, soy is good, but the estrogen scares yeah. me. I have to stay away from it, you know? Yeah, because so we don't good. want you to look like Verdine with two strand of pearls and straight hair. No. We don't, if we I don't. ever come on this show with two strand pearls, why and you ain't help your grandpa your hand. Who who told Grandpa Verdine to wear two strand pearls? It's who, the who women. It's it's y'all fault, man. Y'all keep blowing him up, man. He could rock it with that straight hair. The women, you open the, the, car? the women are giving him license. The women are giving him approval to do that. Yep. Y'all need to shut that down. But y'all can't blame us. He gets the down with the straight hair, but we drawing the line with the two strand pearls. Y'all ain't they wearing the little Y'all ain't the, Hey, look. Y'all ain't draw the line with Prince. Nope. Right? I would draw the line with the mascara and the high heel boots. But the butt out jeans? Yeah. Y'all ain't draw the line on that either. Y'all still yeah. was attracted to Prince. It's called artistic license. See, that's not yeah. fair. That's, yeah. that, hey, look, 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 that's what they said until somebody came up to their daughter to take them on a date in them, them, them butt out pants. That'd have been oh, it. no. You got yeah, the that's you the line. <laughs> But I have to say, man, you got to have confidence to wear butt out jeans. Yeah. Yep. You got to have high heel boots, not just the <laughs> cut out jeans. You're right. You're right. And the high heel boots <laughs> and the mascara. And, and you had your soft tie like a kerchief. If I go. go outside looking like that, y'all like she looked like Aunt your Mama. Prince <laughs> did it. And With everybody's uh, like, that was not fair. Like, there's, oh, just, like, just, say, no, there's no. just some stuff that's just not fair that no, women please. were mad at F. Williams. It's not that we'd let them get away with it. We didn't hear, we we didn't hear anybody complaining. Y'all created Frankenstein because y'all <laughs> let that go. Y'all co signed that. <laughs> no, some of us were not happy with that because I'm like, if I can't go outside with a kerchief, you can't go outside with a kerchief. Like, that is not right. Yeah, I don't know, man. Somebody's hey, trying everything to Everything ain't equal. Yeah, that's I mean, you gotta draw the line with the kerchief, right? That's real. You I don't care. Draw the line with the kerchief. I don't care how skilled you are, how well you can sing. That, that's what you gotta see. Just, yeah, okay, you're doing too much. Thank right you, now. Eric. The yeah, kerchief is okay, but Look. just don't come outside with your, you know, your slumber bonnet on. 
He's like, like I'm not here to get your autograph. I just gotta tell you, you're doing too much with that. You know, yeah. hey, just just because you play guitar, right? <laughs> don't mean you're supposed to be out here with your ass out. But <laughs> you play well. And a ruffle, a ruffle Do y'all shirt. remember what the gangs looked like back in the 80s and 90s? Ice Cube and them, they had the yeah. scarves on. Yeah, and, yeah. I, you know, so my family lives in L.A. They would have slippers on in the street. And yeah. nobody would say, I mean, like, grandma slippers. Not like, you know, yeah. man, it yeah. wasn't about slides back then. Yeah. And nobody dare say nothing. I'm like, you have a my scarf and my slippers? <laughs> and you get ready to take me out? Like, that's not fair. And that's that crazy. Nah, man. Something wrong with the world, man. That was West Coast for sure. It's a man's, what was the song that he said? Oh, it's a man's world. That's that's what the that's the. Hey, problem. look, even more than that, how you gonna constantly be dressed in flannel shirts and scullies, and you live in L.A. <laughs> it's ninety <laughs> degrees, man. Hello. You know they have hello. Sweaty. I, that's that's like sweaty. Live, just like they live in Montana. <laughs> Yo, I, I can't get that part. You could freely wear all the tank tops you want. But you can choose flannel, button down, long sleeves. Yes. And scullies. With a wife beater under it. Make no okay, sense. Okay, so before we go, because I know Eric is about to wrap us up. So let me absolutely. just ask this one <laughs> question. Absolutely. We got something else to do. So we about to shut this down. Get right. down. So <laughs> let me just ask this one question. I just need to ask this one question. Viewers in the chat, please post your answers. How shocked were you when you realized that the person who ran those Capitol Police officers over was black. How uh, shocked were you? Uh, How, I was yeah. a 10. I, from a scale of 1 yeah, to 10, I was a, I was a 15. Was a yeah, yeah. And he was a good-looking black man. A but good then again, young. Then again, look, but then again, there's no mystery. He was killed by Capitol Police. I knew he was black. Mm-hmm. That's simple. But well, then after them with a really nice talk about Black Lives Matter on this one. All the other this, people who, all the other people Thank you, Salento. Salento Johnson said that they were 10. Tell us, were you a 10? I don't care whether, and this is not one of those, we're going to have to get out here and protest. This fool ran into people, airborning them, then came out with a knife. A $300 I mean, dollar knife. Let's qualify. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred dollar yeah. knife he bought the day before. Absolutely. Oh, that one of them um good knives they sell the uh high school graduates sell. When nah, they- this is beyond yeah. that. It was one yeah. knife for three hundred dollars. Cut cold. Cut cold. They got some good knives. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, Aria. People telling the truth. Like that was shocked because you I just you like some crazy white boy did it. Mm-mm. When I saw yeah. Noah, I was like, "That's Noah." Yeah, yeah. Right. Crazy, crazy ain't got no color. It's a lot of crazy out here. It's a lot of crazy out here. Y'all sit there, y'all sit there and keep thinking white folk don't look crazy people out here. All of us look <laughs> all of us know some crazy black people. Well, we saw the guy on January 6th, right? <laughs> what you doing down there? Right, what is he doing down there? <laughs> He just drove the bus. That's all. Like about oh my God. <laughs> Sitting up in the in the rotunda, like, so what y'all doing? What, what y'all right. doing up in here? I'm what coming with doing? y'all. How long, how long y'all gonna be here? And he, and right, he how gonna, long y'all gonna be here? And he was the easiest one to catch. Easiest one? You didn't blend in, fool. Right. Look, that's, look, look, man, that's, they, man, they that's, that's just, man, that's they, just uh, wrong. That's just they wrong. They, they didn't give him right no, on in. They didn't give him no body armor. They didn't give him no spray. Nope. They didn't give him no flag. They just threw him out there. That's it. He went. They told his butt to sit in the car. That's See, it. this is what happens when you don't sit your ass in the car. You remember how you know sit your ass in this car? You remember that? They said, sit on this bus. We be right back. But no. Mm-mm. Well, like he probably got out there. He got to doing all that hollering. And they was and then they probably looked to the side and was like, He with us? <laughs> he with us? I mean, all right. How did you I get in here? Go ahead. Who invited me on? <laughs> he was like, I'm in here looking for my Auntie Maxine. That's all Auntie Maxine. Right, but play it play it all. <laughs> right. All right, y'all. Let, let's go to these quick updates. Sister Soldier, what you got? Wasabi peas, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. Wasabi peas. Wasabi peas. Back mm. it up. Chase it with some water. They hot. Yeah. Are they good though? They are good. From the dollar they store? Mm-hmm. They're good. Oh, okay. Well, mm. and there you go. Yet another recommendation. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Woo! All right, sister. How can people connect with you? Okay. Instagram, Christine the Comedian. And I'm on social media on Facebook, <laughs> Sister Soldier. Fight the power. 
All right, all right, all right. F. William, F. William, what you got? Hey, man, I told you, um, you know, I did some personal care. Watch my hair this week, <laughs> and um, I'm going to be selling edges next week because um, I, I had no, I'm going to sell them mail order. I'm going to have a flyer on this show. <laughs> I had quite a few uh, split ends and and you know all that, and I just I'm doing bag it up because somebody need that hair. Mercy, Lord have mercy. Oh, Fellas, too, beard. On it. Fellas, for the beard, you can use it for your beard too. Mm, mm. Make them there you go. Yeah, catch me at F William Samuel Comedy Man YouTube, uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook. He's at raw. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a senior citizen. He's such a senior citizen. Uh, Robin, uh, Robin, uh, Rob. Yeah, that was a tribute to one of my uncles. He used to do that all the time. Man. I'd be like, "What oh, is God. he trying to say, man?" <laughs> uh, Rob, uh, uh, Rob, so, know. real quick, because I know um Eric is about to wrap us up. We're celebrating. <laughs> I know he didn't come to work today because he's at his real work, but we're celebrating Wody's 50th birthday this weekend. So if you can join Freestyle Friday, we'll be partying on Friday. We'll be partying on Club 7. DJ 7 has his own thing. We're celebrating Wody actually on Saturday. We still going to make it to Morning Glory, though. We're going to be sleepy, but we're still going to be on Morning Glory. So uh, come out and party with us and and, and celebrate him. It's it's, it's the big 5-0. So that's where you can find me. And you all have inspired me. So uh, I am going to start an AK Free page and Instagram just because you all are inspiring me. And you keep asking me where to find me. And I don't want to give out my personal one. So I'm just going to start an AK Free. um, So so wait, 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 wait. They could find you either way. No, no, no. See, that's how that's how it started with Beyonce before she went to Destiny Child. Before she left Destiny Child, what? she she started her own little thing. Don't do that, Ted. Don't know, come for me, Ted. Don't do that. Know, it's gonna be the AK free. Don't do that. Show by herself. Don't be trying I'm on to like lead. Five shows right now. Don't try to lead a show to get your own show. Bye. She was like, I got some creative changes. I think we should consider. <laughs> I'm not getting ready to meet at all. I'm not getting ready to meet. Look, 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 everybody in the chat, my friends, anyway. Be honest. So I, might as well, I might as well take. I might as well take me and my own friends. So <laughs> like, yeah. to be like, bye. They know. Right. right. All the look, 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 my, look, I'm gonna take my five me. out of these twelve with me. I'm gonna take my. <laughs> we we be on the show next week. It'd be three people on here. <laughs> Hello, and let me shout out to all. We got to shout out our viewers. We are climbing in numbers. Thank y'all for coming, coming. each and every week. Daddy Rich, thank you so much. Bertha uh, King, Bertha King. Don't forget Bertha King. Bertha King, Bertha Bertha King. Bertha King. she Bertha is faithful, and Bertha I love her. King She's out, too. Bertha King be sharing it more than than the rest of us be sharing it. So we appreciate Bertha King. Lori shared the She drags her brother here. He's here with us, Derek. Thank y'all. Thank you all. And you know, bring some other people. We climbing, but Ted, y'all are stuck with me. So live with it, okay? Good, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jackson. Yeah, I see ya. Peace. Christopher. Yeah, all right. Right. yeah. Absolutely. All right, that's our show for this week. You can catch Ted Fells and I on the 30 Minute Hour podcast. We'll see you next week at 6 o'clock Eastern on Doing Too Much. Until then, have a great one. We may even have music next yeah, week. Yeah, got to give the people what they want. Something. That's all we need to do is give the people what, what they want.